What's up, folks? Um, one of my uh, viewers, Eric Perry72, requested this review, and uh, I was digging into these things a little bit, just trying to figure out, because uh, I had never messed with them before, had never had any interaction with them before. Uh, but he wanted me to do a review on the CDT ES06 and the CDT ES02. And uh, after quickly checking into them, I found that I'm interested. And uh, so I did some digging. And apparently they are both sold and manufactured in the United States, which is a big deal. Uh, that's a rather difficult thing to do at a price point anymore. And I don't know how 100% true that is, but all the information I was able to find leads me to believe this. So I just have, uh, first of all, I have a couple of problems. One problem I have is they don't give me any till small perimeters, no TS perimeters. And uh, the second problem I have is the rating of the, res the frequency response to these tweeters they rate down to 150 hertz to 20,000 hertz uh, with a power handling of 100 to 150 watts. I guess that's 100 watts RMS. They do say at a high pass filter of 250 hertz. So that power rating at least is a little higher than the 150 that their, their response is rated at. And these are supposed to be a hybrid. Um, these tweeters are supposed to be a hybrid mid tweeter drive all in one I get that but even a three inch mid is going to be you know somewhere around 250 hertz and up uh, and it's not going to go all the way to 20,000 hertz either it won't do it comfortably but still this is a two inch driver that they're claiming to be a mid tweeter which I can get that uh, with a, a frequency response of 150 hertz to 20,000 hertz <coughs> now if I hadn't done quite a bit of research and looked into these things they've been around these people have been around for a very long time um, and they've got a long history with uh, the high-end car audio community so I'm going to take them at their word. I'm just a little bit floored by those that response range. Now, having said that, again, I, I do reiterate that I don't have any TS perimeters to really work from. But um, if this is to be believed, that's phenomenal. And we do have a one-inch voice coil, an edge-driven edge aluminum dome uh, tweeter here. And whenever you have a metallic dome, they're usually the response range is, is really smooth across the board. They do start to fall apart at the very top end, but um, it's beyond 20,000 hertz. Somewhere up around 21 or 22,000 hertz, um, the aluminum domes start to break up. But they break up quite badly at that point. However, they do maintain linear movement down quite low and across the board so they're an excellent driver uh, so I don't have any problem with that I'm just floored by this 150 Hertz thing that's crazy low um, it's crazy crazy low so uh, these guys are come in at a hundred bucks for a pair which is of an extremely good price for a quality uh, tweeter this is a mid tweeter very interesting and the combination that uh, Eric Perry 72 has put together uh, involves this guy as well I think it's an excellent combination if it to like I said if these numbers are, be, are to be believed uh, even if even if this this is some kind of fudged thing and you know we're looking at more of a thousand or two thousand hertz on the bottom end uh, still uh, these uh, midwoofers extended midwoofers play up to four thousand hertz so they're going to be totally fine 
playing up in the tweeter range based on those numbers. But again, that's a pretty high number for something that plays 10 hertz. So <laughs> their frequency response range is really crazy. And it's either amazing or it's bull. And I don't know which. I have to lead toward amazing again because of these guys have got a, uh, a pretty good reputation. Uh, quite a lot of activity around them. Quite a lot of buzz around them. Uh, but having said that, their FF or their FS, which is their um, uh, frequency, the resonant frequency is 55 hertz. And so having said that, I would not play these guys any lower than about 60 or 65 hertz. You don't want to play through the FS of a driver. It's never a good idea. So assuming that, playing them down around 60 or 65 hertz with like a 24 dB roll off, they're going to get down into close to 55 hertz anyway. And they're going to be ridiculously solid uh front stage mid bass style speakers they'll handle 100 watts rms which is perfectly fine for a loud environment um it's really crazy they've only got a three inch mounting depth considering how uh beefy this magnet looks back here that's that's only three inches from from the rim to the brim you know and uh that's impressive so that wouldn't be too terribly bad for uh, getting it into a small location. <sighs> but they are six. They are six. A little bit bigger than six and a half inches. Uh, keep that in mind. Let me go in here and find it. Yeah. So it's a six point seven inch speaker. That's important to know if you're going to put these things in a six and a half inch cutout. And. Uh, does it say how big they are? Yeah, it's just cast frame. Outer dimension is 6.7 inches. Cutout diameter, uh, 5.87. Normally, a 6.5's cutout diameter is like 5.7 or high 6's, 5.69. <coughs> so it's going to be a little snug in a standard 6.5 uh, inch cutout. May have to do a little tweaking to get that to work. Um but yeah they do have the uh kevlar mixed fiberglass uh and fabric which the fabric is going to be the surround so uh, kevlar and mixed fiberglass kevlar mixed fiberglass or kevl mixed fiberglass fabric <coughs> and what i can tell on that is this basically um uh, it's a fiberglass cone uh, to keep it simple, uh, probably an extra rigid. Maybe there's a little bit of a polymer in there. Uh, but the point being that the cone should be good and rigid and uh, pistonic. And pistonic is good. We don't want any floppy sloppiness. I wish I had a set of these to uh, to play, to experiment with. And I wish I had the, the till small perimeters because... Now, what's the FS? Or we know what the FS is. What's the QTS? You know, what's the... There's a whole lot of measurements that would be nice to have for these. But if they play to the tune that they say they play, and if these uh, tweeters also sing that same song, I would say that these two components would make an excellent, uh, an excellent two-way setup for pretty much anything in any circumstance especially uh, in a high power situation because these tweeters will take 100 watts rms at the small side of what they say they'll handle of course that's with a crossover and the crossover high pass at 250 hertz and above and uh the woofers will also take 100 watts rms so they're really well matched i mean you take a uh a 400 watt, you know, 400 by four four channel, which is pretty common, and put one channel on each on each one with a, or a five channel amp for a sub, and and then throw a very small DSP on this, and man, you can make some really amazing sound. So I'm impressed. Uh, I hope the specs are accurate, and I wish they would include 
the, the TS perimeters where we can get deeper and also model it and check out and see what this because this is pretty crazy. So if if the if these specs are correct, then I would say this is an excellent set to combine together. Uh, if uh, you guys at CDT want to send me a set of these guys to, uh, to check out, I would love to do so. And I could even get them over to my friend and put them on some really high-end gear and uh, get a good solid listen to them. Possibly even, even put you in connection with a distributor in Springfield, Missouri. Actually, two distributors. I have two distributor connections in Springfield, Missouri. Uh, so, yeah. Get in touch with me and we'll see what we can do. But we need to know more. We need more information. This is... Uh, this is kind of lacking in the information department. And I'm not a fan of buzzwords. I like numbers. So this component set looks like it'd be great. Just bear in mind you're going to have to run a DSP uh, to, get these, to get this accurate so that you can get the nice crossover points between these two drivers. But yeah, I'd say they're a good setup if they're what they say they are. Peace, guys.